Hello there, there from uh, from London Road, where we've we just witnessed a, a very good performance, fourth straight victory for Scunthorpe United. They've they've beaten uh, Peterborough United by two goals to win. Really, really good value for it as well. It, it's almost like uh, games like this and, and and performances like this from the Iron. I almost dare I say it become kind of a routine victory over over the past few weeks. Um, really battling display uh, in the first half. Um, we're probably on the front foot for, for most of the first half after a bit of a sluggish start where um, they struggled to, to, to kind of um, press Peterborough United high up the pitch really. Once they started to do that, they grew into the game more and had some really good spells of, of football. Jordan Clark and, and Hakiba Delican really, really good um, down that right-hand side all afternoon, a really, really big threat for Scunthorpe. Um, Probably their only real chance of the first half, they were genuine goal scoring opportunity, was, was one uh, headed wide by, by Kyle Wooten from, from a really good and a really inviting um, a delicate cross hit, hit um, after sort of he, he dug the ball out of his feet when, when receiving a, a kick, a, a poor kick from the Peterborough keeper. So half time, nil nil, and, and of course, most of Scunthorpe's playoff rivals um, weren't, or, or sorry, none of them were in front at half time, which was a massive uh, incentive for, for Scunthorpe kind of going into the second half. Um, and in the second half, they they were they, they were by far on top. Scunthorpe, Peterborough, um, kind of struggled really to contain um, Adelican and, and again Clark down that right hand side. Um, that was the side from which they they took the lead in the 51st minute. Tad, tad sort of fortuitous really. Clark did really well to, to kind of dig the ball out and and, and roll it back on the, on the, the right hand side of the penalty area. And Ricardo Santos just took a massive swipe at it. It spun up over his goal, own goalkeeper and into the, the far corner of the net. That's the second time in as many seasons that the Brazilian defender has, has scored an own goal against Scunthorpe. He did so when the Iron won two one here at London Road last season. So if you like your omens, that was the perfect one. And although the Iron had to wait until the the 76th minute to double their lead when. Tom Hopper, um, diving header from Tom Hopper, who, who'd come on um, probably about 10 or so minutes earlier as a substitute. He met Paddy Madden's ball in from the right, absolutely perfectly, um, popped a header inside the near post, and, and that was it, game over really. Um, I can't really think of any any chances sort of Peterborough had, um, maybe one from, from a substitute, Aaron Williams, who when the ball had kind of fallen loose to him uh, in a crowded penalty area, he, he, he put it wide. Um, Peterborough really didn't threaten, Scunthorpe were, were quite uh, on top defensively, another clean sheet for them uh, and another big, big victory that uh, Graham Alexander, who, who's just been speaking to the press about 10-15 minutes ago, he said they kept the season alive today and he's focusing solely on the Port Vale game next week. But two points off the playoffs now and, uh, and everyone is starting to, um, to really believe now. So uh, we'll see what happens. It's, it's been another enjoyable day anyway and another, uh, another good win for Scunthorpe United.